Hi, today I'm going to be talking about the menstrual cycle and the pain body. I was asked this question. Um, I'm thankful for the question as I think it's something we all need to understand whether you're a female or a male because maybe to understand the female energy, right? So that being said, let's explore this energy of the menstrual cycle and the pain body. So in Ikai Tolle's book, New Earth, he talks about pain body and that as women, we have a female collective pain body. Now, a lot of spiritual people discuss the pain body and I'm and the menstrual cycle, and I'm going to discuss it more in relation to what I've experienced with women and the energy and my knowledge on it from what I've come into contact with, experienced with myself, including and all of this energy. So the menstrual cycle and the pain body and this, especially the collective female pain body, something as women we have. Now, around the time of the menstrual cycle, before and during, is when we are releasing energy for the collective female pain body. Now, each and every single one of us have energy centers on our body, right? And the root and the sacral chakra are linked to this energy of releasing from our menstrual cycle especially. However, this pain body is <laughs> kind of like activating everything at once. And that is why it's called the opportunity of awakening. Because during this time, your energy becomes super sensitive and you are now connected to the collective female energy. The root chakra is linked to our tribal and family roots. So it's going back from your mother, grandmother, ancestral line of what were the trials and tribulations of the female collective. Was it um, some form of female abuse? Was it oppression? Was it staying at home? All of these things and certain things you might not even be aware of because how far back can we go? And we are releasing this energy for our lineage. And not only for our lineage, but as well, every single woman. Because as women, we go through different experiences every single time. And we all are connected. So take away the physical and think of it all as energy. And each and every single one of us are connected through this energy. And we are releasing for us all. We have activated by their pain for it to be purged. So all emotions and situations and everything starts coming up all at once for us to purge this energy, to release it, to allow for it to flow through us, to see what action we need to take within our own lives. Now, if women or women tend to live in a similar household, have you ever noticed how everyone's menstrual cycle starts to align? It starts happening all at the same time. That's because as women, we are connected. And even with friends that you feel close to, you might not live in the same home, but you will start to align. Why is that happening? Because we are all connected as women. We are all connected as an energy. We're all connected to every single body. It's a collective energy, but as women, this pain body allows us to release for the divine feminine energy that flows through us. Even looking at a birth chart, there are some like in a birth chart placement. From my personal experience, different women will have more connection to this energy of the feminine energy and even masculine placements within the energy, which even puts them a bit at odds with their menstrual cycle and the premenstrual experience because it's like, oh, <laughs> you know? It really can put you at odds there, especially when there's a lot more strong masculine energy placements within a chart. So given that being said, think of it all lining up. So now we spoke about how if women are together or women you feel close to, you end up lining up to them. Why? Through this collective energy of the divine feminine. Now you're aligning. And as above below with the planets and the movements, even talks about your chart, how you relate to yourself, 
and your female energy and even your ancestral line. So that's how this energy connects to us all. And when this time comes for us to release, it can be very hard. It can be a lot of things can come up, but either we can have a lack of flow. And a lack of flow is a lot of stuck energy. It's a lot of held back energy, a lot of pent up energy or an overflow. An overflow then is feeling out of control. <laughs> you know, it's just really, really out of control. And these are these energies that are connecting to us as a divine feminine. And it's important for us to be aware because a lot of times we aren't aware of how we are connected to everyone. So during this menstrual cycle, you might be experiencing these things. You think, I was perfectly fine before. What is this? You are healing yourself. You are releasing for the collective, all of us. And that release is to help us all heal, each and every single one of us, for yourself, for your divine female line, and for all the feminine energy. And that's pretty a beautiful thing. And when you start seeing it in that way, you can connect to the spiritual aspect of the menstrual cycle and what it actually allows you to do. And you will start noticing and looking at your chakra centers and your reproductive system in a very different way as an energy source that actually allows you to connect in a very profound way to the woman around you. And that's why our menstrual cycles can line up with people we feel close to. And of course, with the moon. I've oftentimes come across that women that menstruate with the new moon cycle are in a process of giving birth to new things, creativity in their lives. And with the full moon, it's a lot about releasing deep, and it can oftentimes I've noticed with that time, especially with the full moon, it can actually even be more of, how can I say the pain body <laughs> is more active because that's like a big release and it's a big release too in the person's life. And I myself have aligned in different ways to both the new moon and full moon. So the moon cycle as well plays an important role in all of this. So if you take away the physical and not just think of yourself as one individual and see how you are connected to your line, your ancestral line and the woman around you. And that's so important to be aware of the woman too that you have around you. Because if you have women around you that are kind of also overstepping the boundary, I should say, it can also really affect your menstrual cycle. It can affect how you feel about yourself. It can affect a lot of things. And that's why it's so important as women for us to gain a sense of oneness, to see ourselves as when we act against another female, where we're actually doing something har harmful or hurtful, revengeful, toxic, that's actually an act against ourselves because we are connected through this energy that connects us all. And then we start looking at ourselves very different. And we start actually wanting to what we call create a sacred space. Your womb is a sacred space. And the energy you release during your menstrual cycle is sacred as it is connected to the energy of everything around you. And the moon in itself is a divine feminine energy. It's why with lots of cultural religious practices, the new moon, full moon, moon phases play such an integral role in what we wish to create, in what we wish to manifest through our prayers and setting intentions and goals. So that's the energy of this menstrual cycle and the pain body allowing us to connect as women in a sacred way and why women should actually understand each other. And I'm not saying you can understand every woman. I mean, this goes on in their own lineage and ancestral line and what they've actually experienced as women that can create a lot of blockages to their own energy, which can create them to be guarded, standoffish, or even try to 
be oppressive to other women, aggressive, all of that kind of energy. It's all their own pain body being really active at the time. And this even goes as far as talking about our menopause and premenopause cycle because now when you get to that stage in your life, how have you basically been actively aware of your menstrual cycle? Talks about the experience of the symptoms you have with premenopause and menopause. Did you honor your divine feminine? Did you honor the divine feminine within other women? Did you create a space of empowerment for yourself? Meaning if women were taking advantage, did you say, mm -mm. <laughs> I don't think this is the sacred energy I want to have in my life because I can't engage in this. Remember all energy and everyone that we engage in even when it comes to the male energy, whether it be a toxic male and so forth, even that energy will be stuck within you as a female source that needs to be released and all carries forth into your old age and how you have the premenopause, menopausal experience. So try as best as you can to be aware, to be energy sensitive to the needs and wants and see when others act against you um, no matter who that you actually create the sacred space the boundaries that you need for your soul growth because as your soul grows and as you you, you create the space of energy around you your life can flourish in numerous ways and that's how you balance the energy become aware of the energy and actually look at how you treat others how they treat you and what this means to your sacred divine feminine energy, because that energy of the feminine is energy that takes everything in. It's not the masculine that puts everything out. Remember that it goes within, it takes every experience in. And you really need to look at the experiences you're taking within to yourself. What are they creating within yourself, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, which will impact you in a physical manner, your physical body. Thank you for watching. Lots of love.